okay so <clears throat> uh, we saw in the last lecture that how the th what are three phase voltages and how they are generated and uh, how uh, they are generated and then how these three sources are connected to make a three phase system three phase and three wires to transfer the power from one point to another point and how the naming convention or the naming of the voltages and three phase voltages are done and how they are separated from each other in what 20 degrees so that was all about how the sources are connected and uh, how they are actually transferring the power and how they are named and what what is the phase relationship and magnitude relationship among the uh, three phases and three phase voltages now we will talk about the uh, <coughs> loads and uh, relationship between line and phase quantities so we'll see what are line quantities what are phase quantities and in fact this figure shows you uh, how the load would look like look like so if you see here uh, this is three phase voltages and they are connected in delta so delta connected three phase voltages are there and now this is actually a transmission line so to say this part is a transmission line part okay so this this load may be further off it's not connected at the same point maybe at the same point in some cases but in some cases it may be further off maybe separated by a good distance and this part is basically conductor this part is basically the conductor which is uh, sending the uh, which is conducting the current and voltages to this and if you see the other part this is basically now if you see the loads are also connected in star or delta okay so here if you see there are three loads of course here shown equal all these three loads are if you see are considered to be put in a delta connected load so this is basically a delta connected load okay what it do, does is you have a set of load that means connected across phase a and b and you have set of load connected across b and c and you have set of load connected across a and c it is as simple as that it, it may not be that it is it is the same load only every load has to be three phase load it's not like that this could be a separate load this could be a separate load and this could be a separate load it, it's only the connection which loops which appear make make this load to appear as a delta connected load so this may be one house you can say so to say and this may be another house and this may be a factory third factory so uh, they are all at a different places but the way they are connected to the sources are only three either they can be connected between a and b b and c and c and a so that makes that load to show you as it is a delta connected or electrically a delta connected load here for just for making the thing simple we have put all the three loads equal but they may not be equal when the all the three are loads are equal in phase as well as magnitude then we call it a balance load so now with in this figure we'll try to define some important quantities which are called phase quantities and line quantities so let us see what are line and phase quantities uh, so if you see here uh, the voltage from a to n is v a n okay and this will be having some value say v a n angle zero similarly v b n and v c n would be uh, three voltages and there is a neutral point so when there is a neutral point then you define uh, what is the phase voltage in a particular leg or particular phase of the of the uh, of the system so here the voltage is called phase voltage this is a phase voltage okay but when you come out of this source system okay and you see from here you have only these two wires a and b and c these three wires so now i cannot uh, there is no uh, no access to n point here okay so now if i want to know the voltage I can know the voltage between A and B so it is called VAB and similarly B to C and it is called VBC okay and similarly A and C which is called 
VCA. So these are the three voltages which would be uh, which I can define or which can I, I can actually see if I uh, I don't have access to a neutral point then these voltages are basically said to be occurring in the line part of the system okay so these are called line voltages line voltages so there are two kinds of voltages if you can if you are trying to see with help of a neutral here or seeing the leg of a this one then it is called phase voltage and when you see from this it is called line voltage so in a star connected source there are two kinds of voltages which we can define one is a phase voltage and other one is a line voltage so here if you see for a particular uh, load it is basically between a and b so here in this leg between load leg a and b uh, you say that it is seeing the line voltage vab that is what is the line voltage so there is a definite relationship in uh, in between line voltages and phase voltages and we'll try to see what is the relationship between line voltages and phase voltages so if i see this as a three phase system if you remember this this is these are the three voltages i am showing here a b and c so this is v a n and this is b so v b n and v c n so i am first drawing for the line uh, for the phase part so this is if you see voltage v a n taken as a reference okay so phase voltage v a n is taken as a reference and then you have for um, at minus 120 degrees if i go like this minus 120 degrees it is v b n and then v c n they are separated by 120 degrees where v a n is taken now here as a reference now if you see what is the line voltage basically line voltage is if i take line v a and b these two this voltage it is basically a difference between v a n minus v b n this is in fact phase at least remember okay so if i subtract this out i'll get the line voltage and that is what is done in this phasor diagram so this v b n a minus vbn is drawn here and then you add vab van vbn to get vab and that is done here in a algebraic form and here it is also shown in a uh, vector form that how it is got so this is vab and vab is basically uh, sub subtraction of uh, the two uh, phase voltages van minus vbn and when you subtract these two phasors, uh, this is what you finally get. That is, this is called a line voltage or VAB. The line voltage is root 3 times the phase voltage, magnitude of phase voltage. And it is angled to angle of 30 degrees from the reference voltage that is VAN. So that is what line voltage is. But if you normally people don't talk much about the angle between line voltage and phase voltage but they are very much interested in the uh, magnitude part so we say that the line voltage is root three times the phase voltage in case of a star connected system so if you have a star connected system as shown here here the line voltage is here line voltage vab is root three times v a n as far as the magnitude is concerned okay so magnitudes are normally taken much more given much more importance but you can see that there is an angle of 30 degrees uh, here okay similarly you can do it for vbc again you will find that it is root 3 time vp but angle to minus 90 degree to the v a n okay vbc is angle to minus 90 degree so this is 90 degree angle from VAN because VAN we have taken as reference so according to that, that reference you get VB and VC and this is what we have VL is root 3 times VP and if you see the line voltages closely you will again find uh, if you take one of the line voltages as reference again they are separated by 120 degrees from each other so line voltages and phase voltages 
would look like similar as far as the vector diagrams are there of course their magnitude would be different so if you, you can see this is these are basically three line voltages three line voltages are here and this and they are again separated by 120 degrees at as it was there in the in the phase system so if you take one of the line voltages as 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 a reference then you can write a similar kind of equation which you wrote for phase angles <clears throat> a similar kind of thing is applicable for currents also line current and phase currents so let us see what do we mean by line currents now line currents we will see from uh, the the load side okay uh, because load side you will find a line current uh, in case of uh, source side you won't find line current let me explain what it actually means so here if you try to define currents in case of on the source side okay in case of sources if you try to define the current uh, these are the currents here you can call this at ia ib and ic these are the three currents which you are which is there so there is no other current uh, if you see anything any other current over here so the, this is equal to same as ia and i uh, this are ia and iaa are same which i have drawn here on the source side ia and iaa are same so on the source side if the things are stark connected there is only one kind of current which is uh, actually flowing in each of the phases so there are three phases and three source currents are flowing so they are three currents over there okay now let us check what do we mean by phase current and a line current here but in on the case of and if you see on the load side load side you will you can define two kinds of current one is the current which is seen from the line side that means not from the exactly in the load what is happening but what is going into the load as a three phase you can see so these three are currents in the line which are going into the load now when you watch each of the legs here of the load so this is one leg and now this is a phase so this is kind of a uh, <coughs> kind of a uh you can say uh, phase currents which are flowing into this okay so this is phase current iab so one line is getting that the other phase current is ica so whatever is flowing here in the legs each of the legs they are now defined in the phase current whereas whatever is seen by the overall load the three currents are defined at the uh, as the uh, line currents so there is a different uh, relationship between line currents and phase current again line current and phase current would happen to be different when the loads are delta connected okay if the loads are considered as uh, star connected as as case of sources here then line and uh, uh, and the phase current should be same as in the case of source but that current would be different only when the loads are connected in in uh, delta fashion so now let us see what is the relationship between load currents so if you see load current here uh, so there are two currents if you see here i a b and i c a and that gives you the total line current i a a okay so this is so i can write i a a as difference of i a b and i c a that is what uh, is written here uh, shown here so this is i a b okay if i take this as a reference and this is i c a one 120 degree difference uh, three loads are same so there will be same uh, currents will be separated in 120 degrees as the voltages are so all the three are same so the currents would also be separated by 30 degrees so i if i take iab as a reference and ica will be at 120 degrees and the load are balanced so all the three z's are equal 
all the three impedances or leg impedances are equal then i can subtract these two which are of course having same magnitude angle is different then you get a line current iaa and again if you see it is having line current is root 3 times ia b angle 30 so you have to first identify it is delta connected or star connected then only you will find line currents and phase currents to be different for example if the three loads were connected in delta three loads were considered in delta delta then these are the three line currents coming in three line currents here and the same current are the phase currents also so in case of delta line currents and phase currents would be same delta connected load but when this is in 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 star the the things start becoming uh, different line currents and voltage currents are different so that is what is uh, shown here okay so again we emphasize that line current is root 3 times i phase current uh, so <coughs> uh, now we'll talk about power in three phase circuits okay so let us uh, here we'll talk about power uh, in three phase circuit for a balanced load so balanced load as i told you the three legs have same same impedances okay and if i am trying to calculate instantaneous power as we did in case of a ac case uh, that is vt into yt then if you have a three phase here uh, three sinusoidal phases of uh, three uh, voltages and so are there three currents okay three voltages and three currents so i am not showing what is here the source system or the uh, or the <coughs> or the uh, load system if you see the source system it will be three voltages like this three voltages like this and there will be three currents so if i want to calculate the uh, power uh, going out of this then i will multiply the voltage and current going into the phase so this would be ia ib and ic and i multiply that van into ian vbn into ibn and vcn into icn so this is a power flowing into a three phase instantaneous power that means at a given instant what is the power and if you see this a three phase power uh, if you see it comes out to be a constant value it's not changing with time okay so power is independent of time in in a three phase system that is why i said uh, that this uh, particular arrangement here will always give you a same kind of torque okay the the power being uh, sent is equal so the power being supplied is also equal all the time okay so power supplied all the time equal at all the time that means torque is also same so this is very good machine you can always see a same torque all the time it's not that at a particular angle you see certain torque and at a different angle you see certain torque that gives a problem in machines okay the machine will have a tendency to vibrate because at different times different torques are there uh, but here if all the three add up to a add an interesting thing all three powers in a time add up to a constant value that means given any time the amount of power being supplied is same so power is not a function of time and so is the power supplied to the machine is not a function of time and so the torque supplied to the machine is also not a function of time so a constant torque has to be supplied and that is good for a machine because you don't have any jerks while uh, running the machine so here is what we have for a three phase system uh, the instantaneous power we are talk but please remember we are always talking here about a balance system systems are normally not balanced but but for the sake of simplicity uh, and for say uh, making thumb calculation general calculation we assume most of the time that the uh, the uh, the loads and the voltages are balanced <clears throat> uh, 
so i think i'll stop here and next rest i'll go for the next lecture uh, thank you